Hello, so we're at this stage now where we need to get the chains broken off. We found the master pin. It's this one with the cross, we hope. We haven't heated it up yet, but the gas is ready. And Dad's ready to take his coat off. These things are going to get a little bit heated. And then we'll do the same this side. When we can find the master pin. Whenever you have to knock a master pin out, always try and place the chain on the sprocket so it holds it better when you hit it. This pin was actually moving a little bit too easy for our liking. Shrink the outside on the hot pin. Despite all our efforts, the phone was about to die, but we did get the pin out shortly after this footage. It just didn't come out as easy as the other side. Love being old. So here we've got the apprentice using the broom, the magnet broom. So we've got the master pins free and we've tapped them back in with some oil. So we know they're going to come out easy when we want them out. So the next stage is we're going to remove the engine now, but leave it in the chassis. So we're going to disconnect the clutch and the linkages, and a few rods, and we're going to we're going to burn some eyes in the chassis to put the hooks through because it's quite an awkward thing to lift. We weren't really designed to be lifted like that. And then we're going to cut the chassis rail it's right down there and crane the engine out the front. But when we do that, the transmission, which is really heavy, is going to want to drop down because it kind of pivots on the sprockets. So we're going to jack it up before we cut it and just put some blocks under the transmission under there. Dad's just cleaning out the box that someone put in. Yeah. Some fucking put two eight, eight mil. An extra, an additional one. And he's put some holes in the chassis for the chains. There's so we can lift it. So we've disconnected the clutch by removing all the links. Fibre links. I'll show you. A load of these. So it's all free now. But they've put this box in 
badly and it's filled with mud. So we're just removing all of that dirt, sand, grease. And we've already half filled a wheelbarrow. And then we're gonna cut with the gas through the middle of the box and up this chassis rail. And then the engine will be free. Box out now, best we can. Dad's underneath. That's a pound for the jar, Dad. We're having loads of fun. So here we're just supporting the transmission by putting some blocks under it so when the engine's released it doesn't fall down which could potentially damage the clutch. I think someone needs to buy him a ruler for Christmas. Top job. Thanks for watching, hit subscribe if you'd like to see more.